Hey guys, I'm Alex. And I am Evan. And we're wasting time with Ashen. So this game, uh, this game came out like completely under my notice, uh, and I decided to give it a try, and I really liked it, and so I just wanted to play it a bit for the channel. Also because now we have to play like everything we can before Jack Black plays it. <laughs> that's right. So apparently that's a concern. So yeah, the the news. Oh no no no! I'm I'm accidentally uh, loading my game. I'm oh okay. <laughs> I'm in the start of UK. <laughs> yes. The, the the two pieces of news uh, of the day is that. <clears throat> One, I'm I'm sick, so my voice is a bit shabby today. And two, you are extremely sick. Uh, Jablinski Games, the channel hosted by Jack Black, is soon to hit two million subscribers in like a week. So, okay, let's uh, let's do this the right. Hey, I'm Alex, and he's Evan, and blah 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 blah. blah. Here we yeah. go, Ashen. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at that! It's minimalistic. Yeah, yeah, it's extremely, it's extremely minimalistic. Uh, so, okay, let's see. Uh, I don't like the hair. Oops, that's that's facial hair. Let's do like. Uh, Is there a pompadour? There's not a pompadour. All right. Uh, let's go with like generic <laughs> medieval-y kind of hair. And is there like a funny mustache I can use? Is that that I was gonna say? It's like the Don Quixote kind of mustache. Oh, okay, okay. I right. was gonna go for sideburns into mustache. Which one? Oh, this one. Wait, is that the one you're <laughs> up, talking about? Up above. No, no, no. That one. Oh, this one. <laughs> yeah, we can we can roll. Just because I don't know why, but I'm a fan of that old timey sideburn mustache <laughs> bar thing. All right. I don't right. know what you call that. I'm down with that. <laughs> All right. So this is a Souls, Dark Souls kind of game, which is why I'm playing it because that's that's what I do. All right, is that is this eagle going to ignite the flame? Uh, no, the eagle is gonna like die, and uh, the eagles like death those are like what make the world that everybody's living in. Okay. So okay. yeah, so reality that's is like a fine. dying bird, essentially, or something like that. All right. Uh, Beneath. One of the things that separates this game from Dark Souls, other Dark Souls kinds of games, is there is a lot of story in this one, and it's there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of story that is directly told to you. There's actual narrative in this game, which I like. Yeah, yeah. Like I've, I, I've seen a lot. I've seen that being listed as a negative uh, in reviews, but I mean, like, why? Because people feel people think it's cool that Dark Souls makes you go and like find all the puzzle pieces, but I mean that doesn't like. Okay, I see. It doesn't depreciate, like, traditional storytelling, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would argue that, again, like, you know, this... That kind of storytelling in Dark Souls isn't really storytelling so much as it is world-building. Yeah. And I've, I've done that rant before. Uh, but my favorite Dark Souls game is Demon's Souls, because Demon's Souls has an actual narrative that's happening as you play it. Whereas in other Dark Souls games, you know, like, this, the story the world is telling you has already happened. Right. And you're just kind of, you know, figuring it out. You're, yeah, you're you're figuring it out, and you're just kind of trudging along in the dying world, so you can like, you know, kind of close the book on that story. That guy has a hole in his chest. Indeed. Second, mark the coming of the listener matriarchs, titans who revered the light. All right, so now we need someone who's like in the grave. The third breath was the age of man. And then the Fire the Nation attacked. <laughs> when the final breath ended, <coughs> there would be a time of darkness. In that black age. There was a guy in the previous the group who had like a feather, like sword. Him. Like, I hope that's a thing you can Toppled get in the game. by war and emptied by pestilence and famine. Proud Lathyrus drowned beneath the ash. Okay, they didn't tell us who Lathyrus was, did they? Uh, I think he might have been the guy leading the third group. Oh, okay, yeah. was he the leader of men? I might have missed that. Flesh. From darkness to radiance, soon the ashen will be reborn from the ruins of its old body, and a new age of light will begin. Okay. I served the Ashen long ago, a guardian to its waning light, even though it broke me with its brilliance. Now, <coughs> look to the mountain peak, 
For that is where fresh hope blooms. Oh, there's you. Yeah. First quest, craft him a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Behold the first glimmer of the light that will sweep. What do I look like? An armor? <laughs> All right, so all right. here we go. So you've got spiked club. Yes, and I can do all the dark, all the soulsy things. I can dodge, and I can do a back step, and uh, one of the, the the one like kind of kind of difference is that it's more like Bloodborne, where you have a chargeable power attack uh, as opposed to a straight up heavy attack. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, it's like the same same kind of gameplay uh, for the most part. Uh, one of the big differences is we actually have a computer controlled buddy uh, for most of the game. Oh, look at that. Okay. Yeah. You can turn them off if you're, you know, in no fun mode. Uh, but uh, I personally like that because I, I just, I just like, for my own personal narrative, I, I, I like having buddies around. And yeah, uh, this guy actually does have like a personality and stuff. I'm, I'm assuming you get other people um, down the road. I like this. I like the aesthetic. I like the, you know, artistry. Yeah, I love the way. And I love the way everything looks. I like the. I like initially. Oh, is he, okay, he's a bad guy already. All right. I was gonna say, hey, there's a fellow ragman. The uh, the trick for Souls games is if you can lock onto somebody, it means you need to kill them. <laughs> I like initially that. I oh, there's also a dedicated jump button, which is sort of weird, but oh, not okay. not unwelcomed. Oh, you've got to run. Everything. Yeah, I, I like that initially. I get the sense that I'm kind of in a, mm, I'm in a place, but visually I can't see very far around me. It's kind of like this fog kind of intensifies, what am I trying to say? It, it sort of makes it feel like this place is isolated, which is good, it, it, in sort of like a Silent Hill way where... You couldn't really understand the world outside the town when you were playing it. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, because we're not going to keep this aesthetic for very long. Well, that's what I was saying. <laughs> that's what I was saying. Oh, no. I've never I've never had this happen in any, any other game, so I don't know if this is just a bug in action itself. Uh, but that does happen on occasion. That's what I was saying uh, initially, because I have no doubt it's going to open up. But to start out... It's nice to have that focus where you're just yeah. focused on this environment and what the guy told you to do and the narrative you've been given in the intro. Yeah, it's a good way of funneling the story, at yeah. least at the onset. Yeah, that's what I meant. So there that's the bird. There are those that thrive in perpetual night and would extinguish these fledgling rays. <coughs> we must find the ash of and protect it from the Elder Dark. Well, that shit has exploded. I've seen Exploded her. <laughs> in case you missed the title screen, that's the name of the game. Mm. It's important. Yeah, so I've only played. I played like two hours of this game, and I've uh, I've been really enjoying uh, what I've what I've seen so far. Oh, okay. So we did get hit. I mean, like the the, the mountain. Oh, okay. It did everything. Yeah. <laughs> I like how descriptive we're being. Yeah. We're like a Dark Souls game. Oh, and it's very. Did that create daylight? Yeah. Okay. The uh, the world was kind of like reborn oh, or something I see. from. Because every time every time the ashen. You know, like explodes. Yeah, like new, like new shit happens. Okay, okay. Or something like that. I'm not totally, uh, like in full understanding. All right, I gotta equip this thing. There you go. That's a healing item. We're gonna get an Estus flask eventually. Okay. What a sight! Our world once more bathed in ashen. Ah, cool. You have felt the power of the Ashen and survived. We will need that strength of yours. The Ashen is still a sleeping child. Vulnerable. We must wake it from its slumber. Before we begin our journey, 
We must bind your spirit to a ritual stone. If misadventure, there's a ritual stone near. So the bonfire. Basically, yeah. Uh, so here's so here's here's a big difference already. Um, this game has waypoints and there's a map. Oh, I love maps. Yeah. So, like I said, like it's a it's a lot more accessible than your average Dark Souls game because, you know, it it's a little bit more handholdy. Um, you have the waypoints on the map. You have your computer controlled buddy, uh, who is extremely competent. Okay. Like they know where the bad guys are, uh, oh, cool. and they're they're act they're pretty good at like they're actually pretty good at fighting. Um, and if they die, like it's not a big deal. You can revive them, I think, like once, uh, and then like. They don't die if, if they die like if they die permanently. I mean, if they if they die to the point where you can't bring them back, then uh, they just go back to the uh, the bonfire. <coughs> so you'll get them back eventually. So I understand that if the darkeners or whatever get to the bird, they'll put it out and it'll go back to night world, right? Yeah. But why are our fellow humans trying to stop us? Or uh, do we not know yet? I think, I mean, I, I haven't found out yet. Uh, I think these are just, like, random, like, bandits and whatnot. Oh, okay, so they don't understand how yeah. the world works. Well, they probably don't care. Okay. I mean, that's 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 my interpretation. Like, I haven't, I don't believe they've really touched on, like, why uh, there are these, these dudes. These, yeah. like, same, like, three models of dudes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> The um the other big difference from Dark Souls, which also makes this game a lot more accessible, yeah, is that you don't have to worry about stats. Okay. Uh, as far as I can tell, the only stat really that exists uh, is your uh, is your health uh, and your and your like stamina. Okay, and, there's not like a strength dealer. Yeah, there's no there's because because uh, Dark Souls games Dark Souls games require you to uh, to allocate points. Yeah. So yeah, so there's none of that. Um, you don't have to. You don't have to grind souls. Uh, that's where did you come from? The um, that the stuff I'm accumulating from killing enemies is basically just money. Uh, and so far, all I've seen to use money on is uh, there you go. Do you like it? Oh. And do you do you drop it all when you die, and then have to pick it up? You drop your money when you die, yeah. And you gotta yeah. pick it up. Uh, but I mean, it's just money, so it's not a huge loss. And like I said, and like like I was trying to say before, I was so rudely <coughs> interrupted. Uh, like the only things I've really seen to do with money so far are like buying healing items uh, and like uh, well, buying like you know items and also like building spears and upgrading your essence flask. Okay. So nothing that's gonna, like gonna break you, really. Yeah, that old man is, is tough. Yeah, yeah. Oh, at first I, was, I thought your buddy hit you, but there was a second guy. Yeah, that guy snuck up on me. So we got the hammer back, <coughs> and now we just gotta run over here and do the other quest. So yeah, so I'm uh, I, I'm quite liking what this game has to offer so far. It is it is simpler than Dark Souls, um, but it's still fun. Like, it's it's its own kind of fun. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Freaking, uh... You know, speaking of Souls, uh... From Software... I got this big weapon. Wait, so who, who made this? Just curious. Uh, it's like Big Epic Games, Epic okay, Big yeah, Games. Yeah. I forget which one of those it was. I, what is it, uh, From Software said they had two new games in development, I think. Yeah, one of them is that, um, Shadows Don't Die Twice, or whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah, I know the one you're talking about. The, uh, the Neo of Dark Souls. Yeah, yeah. Which was, uh, which was unfortunate for the, for Neo, uh, for the guys who made Neo, because they announced Neo 2, like, right after From Software just basically said, we're, we're doing our own Neo, it's going to be way better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that I didn't enjoy Neo, mind you, but, I mean, like, <coughs> From Software's game just looks just looks a lot better. Yeah. But, no, this is... 
And I don't know if they've officially announced it, but I know there have apparently been rumblings that uh, Bloodborne 2 might be in the works. Yeah. Uh, which Oh, can you... Oh, he's not... I thought he had his back, too. Can, can you backstab dudes? You know, I've never had the opportunity. So, I don't actually know. Um, it might... The problem might be that uh, it might be like in uh, like in Bloodborne, where instead of you don't just get an instant backstab, you need to charge it up. Well, that's the thing. I was I was just I was hoping if you could like catch the guy unaware, as we could see if you get a. Yeah, I've never really had the opportunity because they the enemies are all like very aware. Oh, well, that guy just popped up. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Like I I don't believe I've ever been able to actually sneak up on a guy. Also, your partner is legit. Yeah, right. He just freaking quick stepped out of the way <laughs> of that guy's attack and the spear missed him too. Yeah, he's got yeah, the he he he's the only one I've gotten so far, but yeah, he's got like phantom AI uh, yeah. in Dark Souls, so yeah, he knows he knows what he's doing. Yeah. And uh, I and I like that because I mean like I I like I want more people to enjoy Souls games and it, it does make me sad that uh, their reputation, you know, and also the actual gameplay give them like kind of kind of high like barriers of entry. Yeah. So this is this is very nice as sort of like a like my first Dark Souls kind of game. Yeah, and I mean, I dig, I dig the world. Like, it it feels kind of nice that, I mean, I I know that when I say. This feels more like a real place that we're talking about made-up game worlds. Of course, yeah. But... It's immersive, though. Yeah, I mean, in... In, you know, Dark Souls uh, 2, for instance, I kind of often found myself looking at the environment and saying, you know, okay, so where would this exist you know like we're in this impossibly built castle on the side of a ridiculously steep mountain and it, the world fit together like i imagine that if i took a look at the world from a bird's eye view i'd be like who put this together but this feels like a it's it's natural and it's it feels big and kind of rightly Possible. Look at me, I'm Evan. I have standards for world building. <laughs> I don't like Minecraft. <laughs> oh no, I thought you could. I thought, I thought that would be our sneak up chance. But... No. Like Wait, I said, are there... there guys down there. Can we like jump? You can. You can do like a jump attack. Ah, oh, cool. Well, that guy's life bar yep. is not there. Oh, there it's. It there might be an option to toggle it, but. Uh, I yeah. guess it's only when you lock on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I really hate the noise the spear girls make. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it gets so fucking annoying because they're everywhere. Yeah. And also, like, they're the really annoying enemies, so that makes you hate them even more. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm actually just supposed to go straight back uh, and give back the, uh, the 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 hammer and tinder, but oh, okay. there's a thing I wanted to show you over here. Oh, they're roasting like piggies. Yeah, like a little like. Not 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 Lego like Playmobil. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they've got like the Playmobil kind of aesthetic. Let's see if they're gonna be over. There she is. So oh, look at the look at the shadowy figure. Ooh, is that a is that a darkener? Is that a darkish? I mean, it might be. Oh, follow it. Yeah, I see I see no reason not to follow the the shadowy figure into the cave. Into the shadows. Oh no, we have to kill it. This is the wrinkled grotto. Nothing wants to be our friend. Well, now she's done running away. Alright. Damn. She's actually pretty tough. And because you can't just pump your stats, uh, that does, like, beefgate the game a bit more than it. Oh god, you just got one shot. Yeah, she got me. Wait, are you dead? I think he can revive me? Yeah. Oh, cool. And that's good, because I did... There was... Like, I'm not going to do this whole thing, but there was one cool thing about this cave I wanted to show you. Okay. Ooh, there's a rune. Oh, wait, so those those runes are like... Watch, watch, watch. 
Oh shit. Ah. The shadows. Yeah, but see, they've got. There's oh, the one. Penned. Oh no. Oh, what I wanted you to see is, uh, but this, I didn't have, I didn't have them all pounce on me last time I came here. Um, but there's a, there's like a bandit cave like up ahead uh, that we were able to see from there, and there's a shadow who just started, who just started murdering all the bandits. Oh, okay. So I just thought that was just cool, like environmental storytelling. Yeah, yeah. But we didn't get to see very much of it because this time, like two other shadows jumped on me. Yeah, they appeared. Yeah. Previously, when I did this before, there was just one shadow, and it was just kind of in the corner. Uh, you know, aside from the one who's murdering all the bandits. Right. So I thought we could just creep in and watch the bandit murder show a bit. But there's a third there's a third buddy who's, who stopped that from happening, so... Whatever. But, uh, but yeah, I just, I just wanted to show you, like, some of the cool, like, visual storytelling this game has. Yeah, yeah. So are you slow in the water? Yeah, and if, uh, if you go in water that's too deep, you just start drowning. <laughs> you can't swim? Okay. Yeah, you can't swim. I mean, uh, you can't swim in any Dark Souls game. Uh, right. But, like, it's just, I wasn't expecting to be able to drown, like, so easily. And yeah, I, yeah. I, I ended up dying and losing. Uh, Give me my hammer, so I might awaken. Oh, he's tall. I didn't realize I, he was that tall. I like that instead of just saying sure or no or something. Because in Dark Souls, you there's, like, a more neutral response. It's just, no, I'm going to keep the hammer. Yeah. So we are, this is the bonfire, essentially. Right. Ooh. It's more impressive than a typical bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> and so we've we've claimed this area as, as our town, uh, Vigilance Rest. Okay. And uh, what's cool is that, like, I don't know <coughs> if... Uh, I don't know if we can find any right now, but uh, as we go through the game, like there will be people, like people will be jo will be joining our community here, and they'll, we'll find them like fixing up the town and whatnot, and oh, neat. you know it'll it'll be growing like as a settlement. Will they build structures? I, can be found I mean, they're working on structures. I don't know if they actually build them, okay. but I mean, it, it looks cool. <laughs> so Joe Kell is our buddy. <coughs> he only just now has my name. Okay. He once traveled this way with my father. And now he has a side quest. Ahu was eldest, so it was his duty alone. Now he echoes through my slumber, calling to me. Each time is the same. He stands atop an old listener ruin, calling to me. I have found the ruin by the lakeside. Will you help me climb it? <laughs> oh, there's no yes or no. I mean, <laughs> he's he's our bro. Like, why would we say no? Yeah. Like it would be out of character. Alright, and then the waypoint is there. Yeah. Oh right, yeah, that's neat. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do this side quest really quick before we close out the video. I mean Is there is there fall damage? Uh I believe if you fall like far enough. Okay. So see that guy knew we were coming like way off. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. Yeah, I think you just I think there's no sneak attack just by dint of I don't think you can actually sneak up on anybody. So Joe Kell doesn't want to accompany us to climb his peak? It takes them it takes it seems to take them a while to, to actually like join you. I don't know if if the in if game wise there's like, oh shit, he left the town and they have to like actually like path their way out of the town to okay. find you. Cause uh, cause I didn't pull out my weapons until I got to that arc. To that arch, yeah. So there seems to be a pretty, a pretty big, like designated, like town area. See, nice. there it is. Wow, oh. he's got a freaking two-handed axe. He didn't have this before until I had done several quests. Uh, <coughs> but I'm glad because he's way better with a two-handed weapon. Oh, so here's the thing: he couldn't climb, uh, and this is why because I have to give him a boost. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Something about that just amused me. Yeah. Like I thought we were talking like a Mount Doom kind of thing. Yeah. And it was literally, it was literally, it was literally, right there. it's literally a help me climb this thing. Yeah. <laughs> like physically help me up. <laughs> so, uh, can you? Oh god. Can you kill the 
little bunnies and other you can. animals I've seen. You can. And get like a meat, a, a nice nutritious meat snack. No, you just splat them. Oh no. Oh, he, he got he got away into their little their little uh, their warren. I think it's called. I mean, if, yeah. If I mean, if I'm gonna kill a bunny, at least let it be of some benefit. To no, me. they just splat. Oh boo. <laughs> you sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> So these little bags of money are... They work just like the Souls items uh, in Dark Souls. Oh, you just open the bag and get the money? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's money that you won't lose on death. You climb oh, kind of yeah. slowly. You climb fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you roll into pots to break them, though? You can, of course. Oh, cool. It's, uh, it wouldn't be a Souls game if you could. <laughs> the darkness has taken so many. It's like you can give him the box or you can keep the box. So, this But keeping the box is just he, he doesn't, yeah. it doesn't it doesn't like end the quest. How did his brother get up there? To the ritual stone. Maybe he had a buddy. <laughs> or he just jumped good. If you find me the right materials, I can fortify. So now we have the crimson gourd and the crimson gourd is your is your uh, your SS flask. Oh, okay. So like we can chug from it, and uh, that lets us uh, uh, heal up. Neat. And in uh, what I think is actually a nice thing uh, is that we don't have to just go. You don't actually have to rest at the bonfire. You just need to get close to it. Oh, you just it. get close to it. Yeah, you just oh, get into it. Oh, you got your thing back. Exactly. Oh, cool. So, uh, so yeah. So that was Ashen. Um, it I'm, looks charming. Yeah, yeah. I, I quite like it. Yeah, that's like I was saying. Like, if you were ever going to enjoy a Dark Souls game, I think this is the one. <laughs> because yeah, yeah. It, it's just so ch charming is the word I was looking for. It's very charming and very accessible, and I just I love that it's not it's not super like dour. Like it's just got yeah. Uh, I I like this world. It's very comfy, and I absolutely love that I get a map. <laughs> so yeah, you have a terrible internal compass when it comes to Dark Souls games specifically. I mean, it's I don't know just... why that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 once I know an area I'm good, but I I need time. I need time to wander. That's why I had to make you that map in Bloodborne. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, so yeah, like so, I wouldn't mind playing this for the channel if people dig it. But uh, regardless, I, I'm going to be playing this game definitely on my free time. So yes. if you'd like to see more, we love feedback. We we do. We adore feedback. Yes. Please comment. And tell us your thoughts, and if you would like more of this. Uh, until then, we will see you guys in the next thing that we do. Next time. Next time. <laughs>